What's up guys, my name is Boy Shay and welcome to my channel where I talk about what I want and when I want. And today's video is a continuation of my astrological series of the sun through the houses. And this video is for those of you who have your sun in the fourth house, okay? Now just a quick recap of the houses, whatever sun Whatever house your sun is in, this is the theme and area of life in which you are the star, with where you are meant to shine, where you are meant to become a master, and really receive a lot of lessons in terms of understanding this house and the themes that come along with this house. So the themes of the fourth house are family, security, ancestry, psychology, um, and our mental process. It, it really describes the sign that's here as well as with your son here describes how you think while you're in private um yeah and how that manifests into your your life on an everyday basis so when you have your son in the first fourth house you are most likely someone who has dealt with security okay uh whether it be not having it, whether it be it being um, infrequent or taken away by a parent or having a parent that was unstable or um, not having the things that you want in life, or at some point in your life, you experienced a lack of security. So throughout your years or in your adulthood, you are searching for that security that you lack. Now, whether that be from family members, whether that be monetary security, emotional security, physical security, um, you are seeking security, okay? Now, the challenge here is to learn how to find security within yourself instead of finding security in things or material things or people outside of you, okay? You are learning how to be self-sufficient at your core and knowing that you have everything that you need within you okay uh you are learning themes of surviving versus living uh, you are learning themes of providing uh, for your family versus you know individuality and just kind of doing what you want uh, for example if you have aquarius in the fourth house you may be someone who loves the idea of family wants you know wants to feel the security of family but may also feel restricted and control and bound by responsibilities to other people um and a part of you may kind of just want to break away from that while the other part of you really appreciates um having that family and security um if you are let's say a tourist in the fourth house your security is based on having things that make you comfortable, having a comfortable living environment, um, having somewhere where you can decorate yourself, just call the own shots in your home, the security of having the things that make you comfortable um, or the people that make you comfortable, okay? Um, and once again, this is... When you have your son in the fourth house, you are dealing with lessons of surviving versus living and choosing a life path that is fulfilling to you, uh, that also offers security for yourself and possibly your family. Because when you have your son in the fourth house, this makes you someone who's very family oriented, uh, someone who really values keeping the family together and working things out and, um, Especially if you have Scorpio in the fourth house. Um, one of my dads, I have I have the the ultimate just I'm so blessed. I have two amazing fathers. They're of course not together. One's married to my mom. Uh, but anyway, uh, one of my dads has Scorpio in the fourth house and he is very, very protective of his family. He does not play. He is always worried about our safety, our well being. Um, and wants to do any and everything in his power to make sure that the people around him are, are safe and, um, taken care of, you know, um, mentally, emotionally. Um, he's always there to talk if I need him, just very, very much so family oriented. Um, also when you have your son in the fourth house, you are a creature of habit, a creature of comfort. Okay. Uh, you probably don't want a whole bunch of people in your house, in and out of your house, very, um, selective about who you let into your domicile because it is like your sanctuary. Okay. You make it a point to have everything you where you want it, how everything 
you know, like you like it. And, and for a fourth house person to invite you into their home, that is not something to take lightly um, because they are very selective about the energy and the company they keep around them. It's like, if you are not helping me, you are a liability. Okay. So if you are not an asset, you are a liability. And this is how the fourth house looks at people, things, you know, is this going to add to my life or is this here is something that's going to take away. Okay. Um, when you have your son in the fourth house, you are dealing with themes of once again, understanding that security is within you, okay? It, if you try to find security in things outside of yourself as a fourth house person, it will never be satisfying. You will never have enough. There, were, there will always be something more to buy, something more to gain, another house to get, you know. Security ultimately is an illusion, Okay. And in order to be completely secure, we have to know that everything that we need is within us, okay? And that is when we switch from surviving to living, okay? Um, also, if you have your son in the fourth house, you may be someone who is very psychologically analytical um, and can read people or have the ability to understand people at their depths, okay? Okay. Um, you may know what people need, how they feel without them having to say it. And this just makes you someone who is very aware, very perceptive, okay, of hidden motivations or um, inner, just people's inner world. You're very aware of the inner worlds of people, okay? This is even more so if you have a water sign in the fourth house. Uh, or even an earth sign in the fourth house, okay? Now, air, air, if you have air in the fourth house, you more like to intellectualize um, things, people, situations. Um, but it still makes you a very sentient person, sentient being, meaning you can feel energy, you can feel people. Um, and this can be used to your benefit in whatever profession you choose, uh, whether it be a chef, uh, whether uh, you go into real estate, whether you're a homemaker, you know how to pe how to make people feel good and secure in your presence or the complete opposite. You know how to make people feel insecure because you know exactly what to say or you can see into people's psychology, okay? Um, I see a lot of psychology majors in this house, uh, people who uh, work from home. Nike, hush please. My guard dog, y'all. Thank you. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, just, I don't, I say, yeah, like I remember what I was saying, but I don't. Uh, <laughs> fourth house, fourth house, cancer. If your son is in the fourth house, this makes you someone who is a nurturer in some way, okay? Uh, a caretaker, a builder, a provider. Also, the fourth, with the fourth house being the house of ancestry, it will really benefit you to get in touch with your roots because what I find is that when people have their son in the, the fourth house, they are often their path is often guided by their ancestors. So say you come from a long line of doctors or a long line of shamans or um, a long line of architects, you know, maybe you're here to take that to the next level. In some way, you are here to further your lineage, whether that be to break generational patterns um, or to truly put your lineage back on its pedestal where maybe in the past... Um, you know, societal conditionings didn't allow your lineage to be what it's meant to be. So in, in some way, shape, or form, uh, you are here to realize the dreams of your ancestors in some way, uh, and it would benefit you to truly connect with them and to better understand where you come from so you know where you're going, okay? Um, I believe that's all I have for the fourth house. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you would like to get a reading from me, please check out the description box for my link below, or you can just type on Vo Vibes on any platform, and if I got it, it'll pop up.
Okay? I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.